The work is called News and it's a piece for the public to perform. Anyone can participate, they decide how long they want to participate and um, the work, the material of the work is time and the physical material is newspapers. So we've collected newspapers, I have some here from the last two years, um, some from today, yesterday, um, and so the idea is that the, uh, the public takes, they make temporary shoes out of the newspapers. Um, they just simply put their foot on, you know, make a makeshift shoe, hold it in place with a rubber band, and then they walk on these two pieces of white paper. And slowly over time, the ink from the newspaper transfers onto the white paper. And the idea behind it is very s simply that in time, all of our stories, all of our headlines, all of our dramas are absorbed. They're absorbed by time and the, all these individual stories are, become more of like a collective mark, a collective generalization. This is the first time I've done it truly with the public, so I'm not quite sure how they'll react. When I did it in New York, it was more of a test um, to see, in fact, would the ink transfer. It was part of a show entitled Ephemeral Evidence, and each artist had the gallery for one day. So during that day, I just invited friends to perform and instructed them. So this will actually be the first time the work is performed with the public. Um, also, being here in Basel, I'm not sure how the Swiss public will react versus in New York. So I don't know if people will be interested to participate, if people will want to walk for five minutes, or if anyone will walk for a long time, but certainly they, they're welcome to participate as long as they would like. And it's really like a walking meditation. Um, I would be interested if people really take time to select the images that they choose to take onto their bodies and to literally embody another person's story as they walk and to think about that as they walk. That it's not just empty walking in a circle, it's truly like to embody another person's experience or to think about what's happening in the world and to digest the news in a different way other than just like sitting and reading it passively, You're literally taking it onto your own body and taking time with it. There's so many interesting and painful juxtapositions like um, there will be an advertisement for a perfume next to a story of a of a woman who was murdered by her son I, I just read that story a minute ago and it's very jarring these juxtapositions um, and it's very much like life you know there's boredom and there's beauty and there's pain and there's you know laughter and it's all there in the daily paper and and i do think sometimes it's hard to process that when you're just flipping through it at your table um, so for me this is like another way to kind of digest the news